Hey, what's up? This is Antonio Thompson from AntonioRThompson.com and I'm coming to you from my home office here in Brooklyn, New York. You know, have you tried to run some Facebook paid advertising to, to get some uh, traffic to your website? You know, maybe you're trying to use Facebook paid advertising to generate leads, you know, commissions, signups and sales in your business, but it just isn't working, right? In this video, I'm gonna share with you three common mistakes that you're probably making with your Facebook ad. Now, we all know that Facebook is the big daddy of them all in terms of social media marketing platforms, right? And you know, their, their advertising tool is hands down the, the best way to get your message in front of the people who have an interest in what it is you are talking about. But there are three things that you're probably doing that is, you know, uh, not getting the results you desire. And because of that, you probably think that Facebook advertising doesn't work. You know, I'm not getting any leads. You know, I'm not getting any sales. You know, no one's, you know, engaging with my content. You know, Facebook advertising just isn't working. Is that how you feel? Do you feel like you're spending, you know, lots of money uh, and not getting any results? So if that is the case, you're probably making one or maybe even all three of these common mistakes when it comes to Facebook advertising, right? And so if you're building a network marketing company, the first mistake that you're probably making is that you're trying to move traffic from Facebook to your company's website, meaning you're directing you know, people, eyeballs who are on Facebook and trying to move them to your, your, your business page, whether it be you know, your health and wellness uh, replicated website or your travel website. You're trying to get people just to move from Facebook to that website, or it could be even your e-commerce store. And here's what happens. When people go to those websites, they may look at some of the information there, they may you know, browse a bit, uh, but there's no way for you to know that Susie visited your website, right? You're not actually getting information, you're not actually capturing a lead from someone who visited your website. You're not getting their contact information, so you can't actually connect with them you know, after they leave your website. So they go to your website, they check some stuff out and they may or may not buy something. Typically, they probably won't buy something and then they go along their merry way. And what this actually does when you send people to your, your company's website is it actually you know, provides free advertising for the company, right? At your cost though, right? It provides free advertising to the company and you have no idea, no, no way to actually figure out, okay, who visited my website and how can I connect with them and have a conversation with them to see if they're open to it. Remember this, you know, only, you know, I think 97% of people uh, will not buy on that first, um, you know, visit to a website. It takes three, four, five, you know, even seven times before someone actually makes a, makes a purchase by visiting your website. So you actually need, need to have a way to actually capture that information. So the first mistake that people are making is that they're sending people from Facebook with an ad to their website or e-commerce site, which does not work. You wanna provide some, some, some value up front get them to uh, uh, give you their content information and then you can reach out to them. But mistake number one, sending people to uh, your website, an e-commerce page without you know, um, having the ability to connect with them. The second mistake uh, people make is advertising their products online, right? Um, creating an ad, you know, talking about your uh, skincare product or your, uh, your weight loss drink or tea, right? People, remember, people aren't on social media to necessarily buy products. They're there for um, the purposes of engagement, connecting, and being entertained, right? No one's scrolling through their newsfeed or timeline on Facebook saying, hmm, let me see if I can find some weight loss shakes today. Let me see if I can find some uh, tea products, whatever it is, right? No, let's see if I can find some wraps, right? No one's on social media to do that. They're there to connect, be entertained, and engaged. So what you have to do is you have to provide something of value that's going to get people to stop scrolling and see your ad, right? And so the way you do that is by providing value or by talking about the benefits of your product. If you were in, you know, um, health and wellness, maybe weight loss. Maybe talk about and share, you know, three ways that you can lose 20 pounds in like, you know, 20 days, right? Um, share with people, you know, how, if you're in travel, how you can travel the world uh, without breaking the bank. Provide some value and then on the back end, you can then offer them and share with them whatever it is your product 
service or opportunity is. So mistake number two is that people create ads that, that just simply just sell their products. They're advertising their products and that just does not work on social media. You have to come, up, come at it from the angle of, okay, how can I educate, connect with, entertain uh, people first and then on the back end, invite them or share with them um, my opportunity, right? So providing value is number two. Um, the, the second uh, solution uh, to the mistake you're making, number two, is instead of directing people to buy a product or advertising your product, provide some value up front. Tip number three or mistake number three that people make um, when they're advertising on Facebook is that they don't have a, a mechanism to actually capture leads. Right, and this is kind of, I guess it's kind of a twofold uh, mistake. They don't have a mechanism to capture leads, and then they also don't have uh, a website uh, that shares value. Right, so if you don't have a way, as I mentioned before in mistake number one, if you don't have a way to actually uh, capture people's information, there's no way for you to actually connect with them in the future. Right? You're not getting their name, you're not getting their email, you're not getting their phone number if you just send them to your company's website. So you wanna and you need to have a, a capture page that's going to allow you to one, uh, capture the information, but then on the back end, provide them with some value so they see you as that leader and authority. So that's all I want to share with you this, uh, this afternoon in this video. Uh, if you got some value out of it, definitely click the link below. Uh, give me some, um, uh, some comments. Um, also, uh, my buddy Justice is actually releasing, uh, actually my coach and mentor Justice is actually re releasing uh, several videos over the next couple of days where he's going to be sharing with you some more Facebook advertising tips. Uh, if you want to you know, be uh, notified when those videos do come out, uh, definitely just uh, you know, drop a comment below or uh, there's a link uh, in the description box below where you can actually uh, join my newsletter and I'll make sure that you uh, get uh, an email with those videos when they do come out. So have an awesome, amazing day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.